All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Got somebody in the main seat today you might recognize. My friend Doug came all the way from New Orleans to attend the Spooktacular Audio Fest. So I thought we'd do a quick video. I've got tons of content, probably weeks worth of content I've got to compile and edit and put up for you guys. This is day five of celebrating Halloween. Most of it's non-audio file stuff, so I'm going to put a lot of that in the membership section. But thought we'd talk about with Doug some things that happened with his system and more audio file stuff related to Spooktacular. So uh, without further ado, I wanted to just catch up with Doug. He's got some new developments with his system for those that saw those videos in the past. I'll put a link at the end of the video. You can watch his uh, buying process where you got the MBL 101s and Steve McCormick's amps. But without further ado, Doug, why don't you tell us a little bit about some other things that changed with your system? Well, first of all, I'm surprised you're not in costume given that it's Halloween. Semi-costume, <laughs> yes. Um, so I uh, decided to order the REL25 subwoofer uh, for my MBL 101s. Um, uh, the, M the 101s go down low. It's just more of a visceral uh, feel for the bass that I'd like to see. Uh, I think the RELs will mate well with that uh, speaker. So I did order those th through uh, 3MA uh, Audio. Um, the customer service, again, has been fantastic. I did not have the same experience with my previous uh, system that I had. So it's, it's a real... Uh, treat to have such a good customer service with those guys. As far as the uh, spooktacular uh, audio uh, party, um, it was a lot of fun. Um, one thing I thought was great was uh, Nordost was there doing A-B comparisons of interconnects, uh, power supply cables, uh, different tweaks, and it's rare even at audio shows where you would have a company even willing to let you do an A-B comparison uh, through a stock cord. So I found that that was a uh, fascinating, uh, definitely uh, made differences, which I have heard before with uh, power cables and things of that nature, but anyone that ever had any doubt that cables didn't make much of a difference, uh, that was uh, eye-opening, I think, for them, or ear-opening, rather. Uh, so that was a lot of fun. I thought the party was great, uh, the weather was perfect, and uh, it's, it, it was a lot of fun for everybody. Yeah, it was a great attendance, great weather, lots of fun stuff that was non-audiophile related in the backyard, everybody cutting up, playing around, socializing. MBL was downstairs, I'll have video of that, doing demos of the extremes. That was your second time getting to hear the extremes, but my, you'll also recognize other, for longtime subscribers, some of my other friends came in town, Pepe, uh, Dave Houston, who I did a, a Zoom interview with in the past on the channel. Uh, you'll probably recognize Ella, some of the other uh, people that have been on my channel. Stephanie, unfortunately, was out of town, couldn't attend, but it was a good time had by all. And yeah, it was very interesting that Nordos was very accommodating, letting people choose what they wanted to A-B test, even the grounding stuff. And, you know, whatever to your ears you could hear when she changed things in and out was a level of that you don't get, like Doug says, even at the show, that you, you, at best you get a scripted demo, not one that you can control and ask specific questions or do specific changes. So that was really nice. But like I said, it was a fun weekend, lots of great content coming on that end. Also, this was your first time coming since I built these speakers. And I know a lot of people are interested in the GR research and extreme speakers. Uh, what were your thoughts? And uh very impressive. Um, this is actually the first time I think that I've heard these speakers. I've read about them. Um, I know that they were a lot of work to build, uh, so I don't know if you would do that again, but since you've done it, um, no, they sound they sound great. Uh, I mean, the, the, the sound staging uh, of these speakers, the dynamics of these speakers, and you also have, you know, the REL25 backing it up, which doesn't hurt. Um, but no, I, I was, from the, from the first time you, you, you put anything on, it was like, wow, there's just such a fullness to the sound. It's just amazing. Um, so there's not really any weaknesses I could really detect. And even though your room is a small room, um, you know, a lot of the recordings really sounded like a much more massive sound stage that you typically get in a larger space. Um, so I was impressed uh, with that aspect of it. But yeah, they're, they're beautiful, beautiful look at. You did a really great job with it, but I know that there were a lot of work. Uh, I don't know that I would have the patience or the time to put into <laughs> Yeah, that. I mean, like I said, it, it's more of a, you have, to, <clears throat> you have to be cognizant of the investment in time to put them all together. But in any case, uh, it was good to have Doug come in and uh, we're also going to have an update with his system in terms of Steve McCormick is building mm -hmm. your, you did get the amp, but the custom preamp, maybe want to touch on that a bit. Right, I think we did a recording with Steve uh, on the um, amplifiers, yes. but he's doing a pre-amplifier uh, and I, I'll, I'll, you know, love to hear how that integrates with everything. Um, so that's 
pending and hopefully I'll have that in uh, with the rel uh, maybe next time you guys come down to New Orleans and yeah so we'll do a video because the rel 25 has already been shipped to Doug um, and what we're gonna do is try to coordinate hopefully Steve McCormick getting a preamp to him at the same time we'll go down there and be able to set up both of those new pieces together and probably with Doug's system it's more on along the lines of using the high-level rel connections and try to make it make best that way in terms of you know, like I've shown in previous videos, the DSP and direct, he does have direct through his surround sound processor, but sometimes it's just more of a hassle to have to make the two. So we're going to do our best using the high level connections first and see if we can make that make well with his MBL 101Es and the REL 25. So it'll be another method than what I showed with my speakers of how to hook up a REL 25 and we'll be able to play the results for you and show you that both can work. Um, in theory, we're expecting it to work really well. So stay tuned for that. Anything else you want to share? No, not really. Great time, and I appreciate the invite. All right, so stay tuned. i got plenty of video. Members are going to get a lot of stuff from the last five days. So if you haven't already, sign up, subscribe, and I'll see you back here soon.